Okay, let's go to layouts and let's do something a little bit more complex now. So the next step would be to create an, uh, a, a layout that's got maybe a clock on it, uh, maybe a couple of pictures, and maybe some text. So let's see if we can give that a try. So I'll go add layout and we'll say, uh, we'll call this one a little more complex. Okay, and we'll keep the 1080p HD landscape. Click Save, and remember now we've got one region on here that covers everything. Uh, we're not going to want that for what we're doing here, so I'm, I'm, I think I'll just put it about like that, roughly the size of your standard 16:9 uh, um, image. I'll double click. We'll go to uh, we'll go image, and I'll go view library again. You could click add files, and you could potentially upload something from your computer. Uh, but rather than do that, I'm going to click cancel here. Rather than do that, you could go to uh, view library if you've already got something uploaded. Okay, let's put the chapel in there. I'll click plus uh, and we'll click assign. And there it is. And again, it takes that default three seconds, which this particular user does not have the uh, permissions to change. But typically what you do is, is click edit. And inside of edit, what you'd be able to do is change that time to whatever you want the duration to be. Uh, incidentally, if, if I close this right now, we've got a single image here. Um, well, let's just do that for now first. We'll get everything set up. So what we need now is if we want content over here, we need to add a region. So we'll go add region. And, ah, this is kind of interesting. I had not hit save position last time. There we go. Good thing to remember. And so by not clicking save position, uh, that's about right. Okay, let's get them both set up here first. Okay. And let's click Save Position. So this time I'm going to double click in the empty region on the right hand side here and let's add some text. Uh, now, interestingly, we do see the color here, the background color, which it sets automatically. And in a second, I'll show you how to change that. So let's just type. Uh, by the way, we need to set the font size. Let's, I don't know, maybe we'll go 72. See how that looks. Might be kind of big. Uh, my favorite things. Uh, and then we'll put a bulleted list here. Uh, chocolate. Uh, peanut butter. And cars. Okay, we'll click save. Kind of a random list. Oh, I have to enter a duration. So that's under options. And let's say we want the text to be up there for, I don't know, 10 seconds. Do it for 10 seconds. We'll click Save. We'll click Close. And let's just see how that looks. We'll preview the layout. Okay, so you can see it, it kind of uh, it kind of filled this area up and it looks okay. But we've got a large empty area down here. And of course we could put more text in here as well too. In fact, we could have a picture there, whatever we want. Actually, I'll just show you one kind of interesting thing. If we add a region, and then we preview the layout. We're better save first. So let's try that. And it's not really an error, but it just instantly tries to play again. And the reason is we haven't actually added content. And more importantly, there's nothing that has a time set to it. So let's just add a clock down there. Analog, sure, whatever. Uh, duration, let's make it 10 seconds, and we'll click Save. Click Close, and let's go Options, Preview Layout, and now it's working just fine. Okay, I'm going to close that down. We're going to change that clock from uh, Analog to Digital, so we'll click Edit, and we'll select Digital, and we'll click over here. we got to change a few things here. Let's go to, I don't know, 88 scroll down, save, close, and preview. I can see a problem right now. We're probably not going to see that clock and the reason is because it was black text. So that's obviously something important. We'll double click, we'll edit, we'll select all the text, we'll click text color and we'll set it to white. Now if we save that and close, preview, we'll see our clock. 
couple of problems though. Let's say we want seconds in there, and let's say we don't want 24 hour clock. How do we fix that? Well, very glad you asked. Very easy to do. We'll click edit. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put this thing centered. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger still. I'll go 128. And the other thing I'm going to do is go lowercase, lowercase h's, and that makes it uh, 12 hour clock. And I'll put seconds in here as well too. Two digits for seconds. We'll click save. We'll click close. And we'll go to preview. And there we go. That's much better. It does put the leading six in front. There's probably an easy way to get rid of that. I just don't happen to know offhand. Okay, I'm going to make this area smaller. And I'll probably forget to save, but that's all right. Uh, that's not. <laughs> that's a little too small. And a little bit of a trick here. Um, if I want to align it vertically inside of this region on the bottom here, what I do is just narrow down the actual region and drag the whole region until it's more or less vertically centered in the area that I have remaining. Don't forget to click Save Position. So we'll go Preview Layout. Okay, what if we have other announcements that we want to put in there? How do we fix that? Okay, easy. All we do, double click. And you can see we only have one element inside of the region. We, it's really easy to do. All we do is we go Text. And let's type uh, something else, dot, dot, dot. We'll click Options, uh, Duration, I don't know, we'll do five seconds here. We'll click Save, and we'll click Close. And now if we preview this, what we're going to see is that we actually have two different things that appear in that top right-hand side. I've got my favorite things, chocolate, peanut butter, and cars, and I shouldn't have left that at 10 seconds, it's too long and it transitions to something else, which of course is in tiny text because, well, because I set it to tiny text. Uh, so we double click, even though we can't see it, we only see the top one here. We double click and then we'll see that both elements are in fact here. Incidentally, if I, uh, I'm gonna change the time on this. Edit, options, we'll set this to five seconds. Click save. That means that this text will appear for five seconds and then this text will appear for five seconds. Let's just make that much, much bigger. I forget what I set the other one to, but we'll put it to 88. We'll click Save, click Close, Options, Preview Layout, and now we'll see my favorite things for five seconds. Hey, we can even watch the time to make sure it only displays for five seconds, and then it switches to something else. Okay, we could add as many things as we want in there. Each one will play for whatever duration we set. By the way, the clock, we only set to 10 seconds. Just to explain this, if we go to Edit, it's only set to go for 10 seconds, but what happens is that after 10 seconds, it simply repeats itself because there's nothing else in that region. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but we can set that time to whatever we want if it's the only element inside of that region. The time becomes, uh, uh, it, it doesn't matter what we set it to. Okay, so one of the questions you might be having is, what exactly do these times mean? For example, if I click on the right-hand side, we've got two different uh, text boxes, each of which are supposed to be up for five seconds. Does that mean that after 10 seconds there's going to be no more presentation? And this one here is only for 3 seconds, so it's kind of confusing. Uh, let me try to explain. What this means is that for the entire duration of the presentation, whatever we set it to, so let's go Options, let's go Schedule Now. So this means we're going to make this live on a, on a monitor. And if we set that for, say, 2 hours, what this actually means is that for the next 2 hours, for the entire duration of whatever time we set, this will alternate every five seconds. That's the frequency that, that these two uh, text boxes will transition back and forth. This one simply stays because there's nothing to transition with, so it doesn't bother to cycle it through every three seconds. It just stays up there for the entire duration. Let's try to illustrate this. Um, if Again, if I go back and I run this right now, preview the layout, you can see that the picture simply stays on the left. And the reason that it stays, even after we see the transition on the right-hand side, is because there is nothing else to transition with. So let's add a few more pictures in there to, to hopefully illustrate this a little bit better. And what I'll do is we'll uh, double-click. Okay, so we'll click on Image. And I'm going to go back to the library. Once again, we, we could click Add Files, find some local files, and upload them. Uh, I've already done that, though, so we'll go View Library. Actually, let's just have a look at the ones that I was going to add. 
50, 66, 77. I'll go view library. There's 50, there's 66, and there's 77. And we'll click assign. Now I changed the times in there. And if I wanted to change them even more, it's really a simple matter. I just click on edit and I can set it to whatever I want. I could make it 30 if I wanted to, or 300, or I could go really crazy. Uh, but we'll just leave it at three for now. Click save. And so what's going to happen is after three seconds, we'll see a transition to the next slide. Three seconds later, we'll transition to this image. And two seconds after that, we'll transition to this one. Okay, let's have a look at what this looks like. So one, two, three, one, two, three. That one changes first, you notice that then this one changes. These are two seconds each and the whole thing terminates. We could make this thing a little more coordinated by matching the five seconds that we have on this side. And it's a simple matter of dragging this one up, changing its position. Make sure that you save the order. And uh, hopefully this makes sense. We now have three seconds followed by two seconds, which is five seconds, then three and two. And let's just have a look at this subtle difference, which is hopefully going to be aesthetically a little more pleasing. So we'll go preview layout and one, two, three. Then we get this one for two seconds. Then both of these should change at the same time. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, not really that big a deal, but hopefully that this helps to clarify exactly what's going on in terms of the times. By the way, we didn't talk about the clock. Um, it doesn't matter what it's set to. In fact, let's set it to one second. Uh, since there's nothing else to cycle it with, it'll simply stay up there for the whatever duration we set. Uh, and so it, it, it sometimes these um, the times that we set are actually irrelevant. So let's go preview layout. And even though the clock is set for one second, again, it does remain there since there is nothing else to cycle it with. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, yeah, there we go. Let's let's go back to our uh, our layout here. Okay, we're going to put a fourth region in here. Uh, and I'm going to just set the vertical before I drag it in here. And I'm going to try to align this more or less vertically. Uh, like that. Double click. And now we're going to do some scrolling text along the bottom, which should be kind of fun. So we'll go text. And let's let's set this to the right color right off the bat. We know we want white. And let's set the font size to something we know we like. Uh, maybe 72 is good enough. Uh, you can have scrolling messages along the bottom all you have to do is type them in. Okay, clip options. That was pretty quick typing, by the way. I'm very impressed with myself. Uh, we're gonna go marquee, marquee left. I think that's what we want. Uh, speed, I know zero is like quite slow. Normal is one. I'm a fast reader, just had a coffee, so I'm gonna set it to four. And duration, I don't know, we'll do like 30 seconds. Maybe it'll go more than once, we'll see what happens. Click close. We'll go uh, preview layout, and hopefully, oh, okay, <laughs> you can see that it's up here, and you might have figured out why. It's because someone forgot to click save position. Other thing is, I can actually make that text bigger. Let's double click it, uh, edit, uh, control A, select it all, and let's go up to 88. Save it, and the nice thing about uh, this basic preview is I can actually go like that, drag the whole thing down so it's more or less uh, aligned with respect to the time clock over here. Save position once again, options, preview layout, and hopefully that text works. Now the one strange thing about Zybo is you notice where the text starts to, uh, to come out. It looks like it's in the center or off to the right hand side here. So let's close that down and see if we can fix that. Simply drag this region over and let it overlap. Okay, so let's do a quick preview here, see how this looks, preview layout. And we've got the scrolling text exactly, pretty much exactly where we want it along the bottom. We have multiple images along the top. Uh, everything's actually looking pretty good. Now, what if we wanted, last thing I can think of, what if we wanted to have multiple scrolling messages along the bottom? Let's do that too. So all we do, double click, oopsie, double click. Inside of that region, we click text once again. I'm going to paste, I already typed this out, I'll paste it in there, okay, 
It's going to be another scrolling message. Best to check the time to make sure it's sufficient to run it. So what I mean by that is we'll go to Options. We'll select the fact we've got to do Marquee Left. We also have to put a speed in. I'll set it to 4. And a duration. How long do you think we'll need to run that? I'm going to set it to 20. In fact, I'm going to go back to the other one, Edit. And I'm going to set it to 20 as well, too. I actually don't know how long we need. Um, and I think it starts to repeat itself if uh, if we don't uh, if we provide too much time, let's have a look and see how this looks. So there's our first message. I probably should have done shorter messages with shorter periods of time, but anyway, whatever. Good enough for now. Over and out.